All right, there we are. Okay, I think we are great. Okay, um, it is 5.57. I'm calling this meeting of the Board of Education, special meeting of the Board of Education to order. Uh, can we please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you for the flag, Michael. I was looking for one in this office. Um, so, okay, first action item is our safety and security. Um, and there are two aspects to this. One, I just really wanted to report on the fact that we just come out, came out of executive session um, where we are continuing to discuss some physical enhancements um, as well as discussing multiple options with uh, the police for um, our safety and security as we enter this coming school year. We also are reviewing um, an RFP that was put out around on um, the safety and security for our schools. So I just wanted everyone to know that this continues to, of course, be a focus always and um, even more so recently. And uh, we will likely have another meeting on that before the school year begins. Um, and I will be reaching out to board members on that. So I just wanted to provide everyone with an update on that. Um, I then separately wanted to talk about the high school's safety and security around the entryway. And with that, I am actually going to turn it over to Ms. Downey, who is the liaison to that committee. Thank you, Ms. Stone. I'm sorry, I'm having some, it's like chopping my head off issues here. Um, I think we talked about, like, we talked about um, the bids coming in uh, higher than budgeted at one of our last meetings um, and the building committee is in a point where they cannot make any progress without some direction from us so i've spoken with some of you i think we had some discussions in executive session um i just want to i want to make a motion um i guess that's out the way how you'd like me to start so we have something to discuss yeah um, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to write. um i'd like to make a motion that we direct the building committee um to develop a proposal consistent with our ed specs, um, except for the size requirement um, that could be consistent, um, will stay within our budget. I'm happy to second that. Okay, discussion. Christina, you want to tell us a little bit more? Um, yeah, just because um, I think, you know, I, I've done a review of the ed specs um, recently in connection with this. And it seems to me that, you know, there's a number of things we need to be focusing on. Obviously, safety and security was the priority that was also about creating an entrance to the high school that would be attractive and welcoming. Um, I think we've figured out that our budget um, may not be able to accommodate those aesthetics as well. However, um, a scaled back size of the project, not necessarily scaled back scope, could possibly be achieved within the budget that we have. Um, and the only way we're going to get any real sense of that is if our architect um, and the building committee takes um, some time to do a analysis of square footage and where the components were of the cost of the project to see if there's a way to do it um, without as big an entrance, but an entrance that would be safe, meet the safety and security needs that would be consistent with the existing budget for the project. Any questions, thoughts? I, that makes a lot of sense to me. I, I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Because we're not committed to anything. To be honest with you, we're just giving them a direction, right? I mean, because they could come back to us and we say, you know what, we've rethought it. We want to go forward with the project as it was, but it allows us to make a more educated decision. Great. All right. Well, then, if there's no further questions, let's take the let's take the call in the sense of the meeting motion. Um, I'm a yes. Christina Downey. Yes. Karen Hirsch. Yes. Laura Costin. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cody. Yep. Joe. Yes. Okay. That passes six zero. Um, thanks very much. Okay. Um, Sorry, now next I wanna to go to the Central Middle School Ed Specs. Let me just put um, a motion on the table, but it's very much for discussion so we can discuss it. Um, I make a motion to approve the Central Middle School Ed Specs as revised per the 660 flex scenario. 
Can I have a second for that? Ms. Costin, thank you. Okay, um, discussion. I'm just going to actually turn this over. Sorry to put you on spot, Mr. Healy, but I think Tom did a wonderful analysis over um, just over a week ago, which kind of walked everyone through the difference between um, the, the 660 straight that we were talking about at one point and the 660 flex. If you could just, Tom, just hit us high level with the differences, that would be greatly appreciated. Sure, thank you. Um, so uh, basically um, the differences uh, in terms of 660 flex was really centered around those common areas um, to accommodate you know, an increased student population, you know, beyond 660. Um, ultimately, we talked a lot about the cafeteria, we talked about the media center space, and then um, by sort of um, guideline formula, the circulation vestibule lobby areas that are associated with um, uh, a building size, a sort of percentage of the program area. So ultimately, um, we we looked at it again and we were able to kind of just determine what we would need, uh, again, estimating say 235 students per grade level, how many uh, square feet will we need in a cafeteria space to accommodate that many students using um, the math uh, provided at the last meeting. I think Roger was talking about 21 square feet per student about. Um, similarly in the media center, just making sure we had the flexibility area for the collaboration space. You know, I, I tried to clarify in, in, in a note that, um, you know, the media center as designed from the very beginning, the media center was supposed to be the hub of the building. So to have students moving in and out, teachers collaborating, students coming in, we just needed the extra square footage there and to circulate the materials. So ultimately, um, the 660 Flex um, saw the slight adjustments to, this, to those spaces um, and then the corresponding passage areas, hallways, corridors, vestibules, things like that. Um, that's ultimately what what we we centered on there. Um, one note was um, just in taking another pass at um, all of the areas. Um, we did note that the ESL classroom, the ELL English language learners classroom, um, could be reduced in size um, to accommodate um, even a 660 flex option um, based on the numbers we typically see through. So we did um, reduce some square footage there too. Is that okay in terms of a quick summary? Very good. Yep. Thank you so much. Um, any questions? Opening it up. Joe, go ahead. Yes. Um, thank you, Tom. Uh, that's helpful. Uh, a main concern of mine is, uh, is that we can all, uh, as a board, because of the scale of this project and the scope of this project, uh, that, that we can all agree on this. Uh, that being said, uh, I have to continue to uh, uh, make my point uh, that I do believe we're uh, putting ourselves at, at a bit of risk uh, of delaying this project further if we don't give uh, the uh, a rendering or ideas or concepts to the building committee uh, before they start designing and also understanding uh, the site plan uh, where, where this building's gonna go, whether we're gonna have two buildings or a construction building and a, a school that's operational at the same time, or if we have some issue uh, where we have to close either part or all of the building. So my concerns remain consistent. Uh, I, I'm not trying to persuade anyone. I'm only mentioning because I think it's important uh, going forward that we have these things. Uh, I've tried to persuade, uh, I, I stand alone. So uh, I just wanted to make my opinion clear and, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and, and uh, that's my point. So hopefully we can agree on this and uh, I 100% support the project, uh, but I, I just, I think we need a few, uh, a few things in place before we pass it on to the building committee. Now understand the building committee could very well uh, bring us a beautiful design and a beautiful building, uh, uh, but I, they also might not come with something we agree with. And that's the reason why the warning. So that's my two cents, thank you. Understood, uh, Ms. Costin. Um, I think we should also point out for the listening public, um, and I thank you, Joe, for um, for saying that I happen to agree with you. Um, the uh, size of the building in the previous ed specs was 117,000 for 10, if I'm noting correctly, and the ones we are voting on tonight reflect um, 115,311 square feet. So I just wanted to make that um, uh, notation for those listening.
Okay, sorry, I had a problem with my mute button there. All right, Ms. Hirsch. Oh, thank you. Um, I know I had sent a couple of questions, but I guess they're irrelevant because uh, they were for um, a different uh, a different schematic. Um, you know, and I would say um, to add on to both uh, Joe and Laura's points, yes, I, I would agree completely. Um, so I really have two questions. The big the big point is to make that really at this point it really is very specifically to flex because it's just over a thousand and. 35, I think, square feet difference between the two. And it really will add that space, um, uh, you know, as Principal Healy had mentioned to us for the lunch waves. Um, and I really appreciate all the thoughtful input that you you had and that you went through here to look at the corridor sizes and make sure that everything was aligned. So thank you for all of that work. Um, I lost my point. Um, I, I did have one quick question though. And um, how close are we? Because I know you guys said we were looking to do soil testing uh, in some of the month weeks in August. Um, has that started yet? And do we know when we, if not, when it will slash when we might get some results? This is- yeah, I, can, I can actually answer where we are. They were supposed to be on site this week and then um, the soil team that was going to do uh, the testing for the stability test actually got COVID and so they were not there. However, I did get an update that uh, they will be on site tomorrow. So it should start tomorrow. And do you know how long it usually takes to get results? Uh, usually it's just a few weeks. It should, uh, it should not be that long, but I don't have the exact timing. Okay, I mean, you know, I, again, I, I go back to the specific edit specs and much like Joe, um, it's so important to know where this is going to be located on the site because there are so many pieces of the puzzle that go along with it, like our fields and drop off and, and, and other parts of that lane. And I assume that that's something that, you know, if we get the information from the, you know, the soil, once we give the ed specs, if we approve them uh, to the building committee, that, you know, adjustments can always be made once we uh, hire an architect. Is that correct? We could give input then? Correct. Just confirming. Yeah, no, that's correct. Okay. Thanks. Ms. Downey? Yeah, um, so basically, yeah, I was just gonna make the point that we should have the soil testing back long before the architect gets hired because they have yet to put out an RFP for the architect, um, at which point we will have input into the hiring of the architect. Um, I just wanted to make one point that before we vote, I, I think I just, I wanna make a motion to amend the current version of them because I think we need a specific date like they just say July 22 we need we sh these really should have a specific date that if it's today let's say it's August 11th 22 because when we were dealing with the high school entryway to the extent you're dealing with the state we we want to have ed specs with a specific date on them um, and there are a couple of um, yellow highlights still remaining so I would I would I'll, I'll make that motion at an appropriate time okay so. well I'm happy to withdraw my motion and then why don't you make it more cleanly? Okay. So do you want me to? <laughs> yeah, okay. why don't you do that? Um, yep. I would like to make a motion. Well, I'm just making a motion to amend them. So it's not really affecting your motion. Okay, fine. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, I was just saying, if you want to so make So why don't I make my motion? You're I'm making an make amendment motion. to the motion, that's all. Not right. I'm going to make a motion um, that, that the ed specs be amended to reflect a specific date uh, uh, throughout them of August 11th. 22, and that all yellow highlighting be deleted. I'm happy to second that. Okay, we have to take a vote on that now, right? Correct. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm a yes. Ms. Costin? Yeah, that's a yes. Karen Hirsch? Yep. Yes. Up. Joe Kelly? It's just on the amendment, so I don't know how you feel. <laughs> uh, I'm good with removing yellow uh, highlighting, so okay. yes. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Cody. Yeah. Just, okay, and Ms. Downey. Yes. Okay, so that passes six zero. Um, okay, any other questions or do we wanna vote on the, any other discussion on the original? No, okay, do we wanna take a vote? Anyone wanna call the question? Okay, yes, Ms. Costin. I wanna call the question. Okay, very good, I'll start the roll call. Uh, Kathleen Stelmy, yes. Ms. Costin? Yes. Ms. Downey? Yes. Mr. Kittle? Yep. Ms. Hirsch? Yes. And Mr. Kelly? I will abstain due to the uh, uh, things I have mentioned before, just uh, 
keep everyone aware that I think these things should be looked at. So abstention. That's fair. Okay. And I, uh, so that passes five zero one. Um, I should have noted, sorry, at the beginning of the meeting that two of our board members are on vacation, but um, obviously they've been very much a part of all these discussions. So, um, okay. So um, thank you so much. I can't believe this, but I need a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Okay. Ms. Hirsch. And I think I saw a second from Ms. Costin. Okay. I'm with your roll call. Kathleen Stalma. Yes. Ms. Costin. Yes. Okay, Ms. Hirsch? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Ms. Downey? Yes. Mr. Kittle? Yes. All right, thank you all so much. I will be back to you guys with dates for another special meeting right before school starts. Thank you so much. That was a great, quick, efficient meeting. May they all go that well. Okay, have a good one. Happy summer. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night.